you guys haven't watched part one of this video, you guys need to watch it, okay? Anyways, let's get started. What companies do is that they don't tell you about the existence of things like warrants, stock options, convertible preferred shares. What these do is that they increase the amount of outstanding shares. They do much more, but I can't get into it. That's for another time, maybe another video. But what they do is they increase the amount of shares. So say a company has 100 million shares and it's Warren, stock options, convertibles. They cause the company to have 150 million shares if their rights were exercised. So this company went from having 100 million shares and it can go to having 150 million shares. So this company's value is being diluted because the company is being split up into more and more pieces. Let's get back to the last video's example and assume that if all of the company's warrants and convertible shares were exercised, there would be 68 million shares instead of the old 49 million shares. The increase in shares is literally diluting the earnings, hence the term. Instead of having earnings of $2 per share, the more accurate figure in this case would be $1.48 per share. This is because there are more shares and that means the denominator is higher. So when you divide it, it equates to $1.48. There's much more to diluted earnings and I don't want to get into the specifications. But the main thing is that it shows the scenario of the maximum shares that can be in place. This means the shares outstanding increases and the EPS decreases. So now with this new EPS, let's find out the new price to earnings ratio. Going back to the previous video's example, let's assume company A is priced at $17. Its regular P to E ratio is 8.5. However, diluted is a better representation of EPS because warrants, options, and convertibles can be exercised anytime. The accurate EPS is 17 divided by 1.48, which equates to 11.49. So you're paying $11.49 for every $1 of earnings. But before you thought you were only paying $8.50 for every $1 of earnings. As you can see, using diluted EPS gives you a more accurate price to earnings ratio. And the P to E is a crucial ratio when analyzing a company's financial position. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button right over here. Hope you have a better understanding of diluted EPS and how it helps the P to E ratio become more accurate. Thank you and goodbye.